And that man wallows in 800 a year. And half that sum would keep my wife and children, if I had any, happy. But arise, black vengeance. Nightingale shall suffer doubly. Nightingale found me out. And when a man finds me out and imposing on him, I never forgive him. And uh, when he don't find me out, <laughs> I never stop imposing on him. <laughs> Those are my principles. Oh, what ho? Wine here. Uh, wine coming, sir, directly. My young man has gone below for it. More company. Mr. Nightingale beyond the doubt. Is this the malignant, whom these eyes have never yet blasted with a look? No, caitiff terrible. This way, sir, if you please. Your letter received, sir, and your room's prepared. That'll do. That'll do. Don't bother, ma'am. I'm nervous, and I can't bear to be bothered. Uh, what I want is peace. Instead of peace, I have what rhymes with it, but it's not at all like it. Oh, Uncle, is it not enough that I've never to redeem those pledges which oh, I... Oh, don't talk to me of redeeming pledges as if I were a pawnbroker. Oh. Are you ill, sir? Am I ever anything else, ma'am? <sighs> Refer to diary. Rosina, save me the trouble of my glasses. Uh, see last Tuesday. I see it, sir. Uh, what's the afternoon entry? New symptom, creak in back. Sensation as if self a stiff bootjack suddenly tried to be doubled up by a strong person. Oh! Symptom repeated, sir? Oh, yes, sir. I must put it down at once. Symptom repeated. Oh! oh. Symptom re-repeated. Oh. Mrs. Lithers, I believe. Now, at your service, sir. Uh, Mrs. Lithers, uh, I'm a very nervous man. We must come to an understanding. I, I'm a water patient, but I will pay for wine. So if you will be so good as to call the pump sherry at lunch, a port at dinner, and brandy and water at night, and if you would be so kind as to direct your chambermaid to show that discontented young lady to her room. Certainly, sir. This way, miss, if you please. Oh! What's the matter? Oh, Uncle, don't be frightened, but, but Uncle, I felt as if something had touched me here so suddenly that I, oh, don't be frightened, Uncle, that I nearly dropped, Uncle. Lord bless me. Bootjack and strong person, contagious. <laughs> Serves in a mouthful of ink. Symptom shortly thereafter repeated in niece. Uh, Susan, uh, you don't feel anything in particular, do you? Nothing whatever, sir. Oh, you wouldn't? Uh, you never do. You, you without doubt the most aggravating young woman in the world. <laughs> Lord, sir, you wouldn't wish a party ill, I'm sure. Ill? You are ill. You only knew it. Why, if you were as intimate with your own interior as I am with mine, <laughs> your hair would stand on end. Well, then I'm very glad of my ignorance, sir, for I wish it to keep in curl. Now, Miss Rosina, oh, ho, there's something in the wind, and it's not the boot jack. Uh, uh, there's a man yonder eating his dinner as if he enjoyed it. Uh, judging from his figure, I would say that he generally does enjoy his dinner. I wish I did. I wonder if there's anything that would do me good. I've tried hot water, hot vapor, hot mud. I've imbibed in all manner of springs from zero to boiling. But I don't find myself one bit better. My only comfort is my diary. When I began to book my symptoms and refer to them of an evening, that's when I began to discover my true condition. Oh, 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 Lord bless me. New sensation. Uh, a uh, sensation as if, uh, as if strong train of gunpowder sprinkled down left hip and into ankle uh, and exploded <laughs> by successful Guy Fawkes. <laughs> well, I must book that at once. <laughs> I'll have something else overtake me before I have an end. Uh, Susan, uh, another mouthful of 
me. What's this? Oh, a diary. <laughs> ah, perfect passion for pills. Remarkable furor for doctors. Hmm. Most unconjugal allusions to Mrs. Nightingale. Oh, poor Maria, most valuable of sisters. To me, an annuity. To your husband, a, a tormentor. Shall I bleed him? Metaphorically bleed him? Why not? He never regarded the claims of kindred. Why should I? <laughs> Ooh, he returns. Lord bless me, I have left my diary somewhere. Oh, there is the precious volume, no doubt, right where I left it. Oh, the stranger had opened it. What information he would have acquired. He'd have learned by analogy things concerning himself that he little dreams of. He has no idea how ill he is, <laughs> or how thin he ought to be. 